Hello all and welcome to my video. Um, in this video I am going to show some day and night video footage using the Sightmark Wraith 2X. This is the newer version with the two power base magnification. I'm also going to talk a little bit about the differences between the original Sightmark Wraith HD 4X or four power base magnification and then talk a little bit about which one you might choose depending on your specific hunting scenario. I started using night vision about a year and a half ago, and my first scope was the original Sightmark Wraith HD, shown here. Um, I soon realized that with the type of hunting that I did, the four power magnification and the more narrow 21 foot at 100 yards field of view was really not good for my type of hunting. Generally speaking, I was shooting um, well under 100 yards, um, most cases probably less than 50 yards, and that four power magnification, um, it, either for night vision or for thermal optics, is really considered to be in the higher end uh, magnification for nighttime hunting. So here's both units side by side. On top is the original Sightmark Wraith HD uh, that has a four to 32 power, 50 millimeter objective lens. Um, the bottom one is the new two power, so it's two to 16 power with 28 millimeter objective lens. I can tell you that as far as I can tell, every single detail about these scopes is 100% identical. Software, reticles, colors, performance, everything. The only difference is the objective lens size and the power of magnification. Um, they're both 1080 HD video. Uh, neither of them do record audio. I will say that there is a, uh, another version. There's a 4K version. It's 3 to 24 power. It is 4K video, it does record audio, and it falls right in between these two at uh, 3 to 24 power 50 millimeter objective lens. Uh, I did mention field of view. The uh, 4 power has 21 foot at 100 yards. The 2 power is 42 foot at 100 yards. The 3 power falls right in the middle at 31 and a half feet at 100 yards for field of view. So here's my rifle setup with this one. I do like to shoot a uh, 300 blackout suppressed. And um, I do like to do subsonics. So that's all a perfect setup for the type of hunting that I do here. You can see it's very dense cover. Uh, shots are usually less than 100 yards. Actually, more often than not, less than 50 yards, which is perfect for subsonic 300 blackout and the two power base magnification of the rate. I usually use a tripod. The one shown here is a bog pod um, uh, CLD3. I also have a death grip and a few other types of tripods that I like to use. I have done several other videos, maybe four or five other videos using the original Sightmark Wraith. If either of these models interest you, go back and look at those. I'm not gonna do another uh, unboxing setup, uh, testing, how to use the IR Illuminator. All of that, like I said, is exactly the same between the two models. So if that interests you, go look at all of those other videos that I've posted using the original Sightmark Wraith. Okay, so um, with all of that explanation, let's go ahead and get into the uh, video. First piece of video is a daytime shot. Uh, here I'm standing back about um, 40 or so yards from the feeder there. The deer is probably another, oh, 15 to 20 yards behind that, so um, potentially up to about 60 yards away. You can see that uh, if I were hunting a deer-sized animal, um, with this scope and setup that is uh, very doable uh, at about 60 yards. Um, what's funny is I'm standing there in, this is a late September afternoon, um, I'm standing there with khaki shorts, a red t-shirt in the middle of a jeep trail, so not, uh, not hidden or camouflaged in any way. That deer seems to be pretty suspicious about what's going on, but she can't figure it out and she doesn't know what she wants to do. So looking at the screen on the bottom left, you can see the little bullet there with the number one. That is the, um, the profile, if you will. Uh, I believe you can have about five different uh, profiles. So you could have five different guns. I actually use the QD mount. So I should technically be able to pop it off one gun, pop it right onto the other gun, switch to the profile that matches that particular gun, and um, it should work. I have not tested that yet with the QD mount, but uh, I will at some point. Um, or I could have multiple, um, let's say, types of bullets. So I could have 
Profile one is uh, supersonic, profile two, subsonic, uh, so multiple different bullets on a single gun. Next over to the right is the 2X. That shows the magnification that the scope is set at. Um, it'll show a 2X, 3X. Um, actually, in this case, I think it's a 2X, 4X, 6X. Uh, next to that is time and date. Off to the right there, you can see I'm working off of a full battery. Up in the top right hand, you can see the uh, sight mark, uh, watermark that it's going to be on all the videos. So this next shot is still uh, in the daylight, uh, same location, um, just before sunset, I believe. And um, yeah, all I did was move the scope into nighttime mode, no IR illuminator, just natural light. And this is what it looks like um, in the daytime in night mode. And here we are, it's actually dark nighttime. I believe this is the same location again. I'm just turning up the IR illuminator. There I have my um, e-collar, the uh, convergent HP bullet. Um, I have a strategy there where I'm uh, using the bullet to call hogs, or at least make hog sounds. Hopefully get the hogs to come run into the feeder earlier than their, their typical midnight one o'clock. My strategy is they start hearing pigs near the feeder and they come running to uh, get that corn because they're greedy. Okay, another location. Uh, I'm probably about 30 yards back from this feeder. Uh, I'm at a location where there has been lots of hog sign. Hogs seem to be coming in uh, just after dark. So um, it is uh, just after sunset and it is dark. And uh, wind is coming from right to left out of the south and the pigs tend to come from right to left as well. So uh, I should get lucky on this one, and this one I actually do uh, get a couple of pigs on video and uh, uh, kill one. So um, that bright tree on the right-hand side, there's cedar tree about 10 feet away from me on the right-hand side, and I wanted to show that that IR illuminator will reflect back um, and uh, wash out the picture like that. So. You can start seeing the pigs. They're still not in clear view, but they're, you can see their eyeballs glowing back there behind the tree. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to come out where I can get a shot where I can see them completely. And the uh, light will get off of that uh, cedar tree and uh, brighten up the entire scene, not just the tree that's directly on my right. So it takes just a few seconds the pigs start to walk out. So I'm gonna let it roll from here. Basically a couple pigs gonna walk out. I'm gonna line up on pig number two, take a shot and uh, it's one pig down. Pigs are right at about 20 yards. And bang, one shot fired. Second pig, he didn't stick around, he took off. No opportunity to take another shot at him. He's gone. Okay, the last shot I have is a fox running into um, the collar. I'm running a jackrabbit call, and here he comes in about, uh, I would say about 30 yards or so, comes running up, gets very close to me, probably 10 or 15 feet away, when he finally ducks behind a tree and loops around behind me. If you are looking at these two scopes and trying to decide which one is best for you, I would suggest this. If the majority of your hunting, your hog hunting um, in dense cover, all your shots are less than 100 yards, the two power wraith is the one for you. If you're coyote hunting and you're scanning fields that are 100 yards, 200 yards and more, and most of your shots are gonna be over 100 yards, then the four power wraith is for you. For a combination of both, I, I think the two power is pretty darn good because you can uh, bump the magnification up to four power, and it's still a pretty darn good picture. So to me, the two power Wraith um, is a better option all the way around. You can always go up in power. You can never go lower in power on the on the 4X Wraith, uh, and you can't get a wider field of view with the 4X Wraith. So I think the two power Wraith is uh, the better option in most cases. Okay, I wanna thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if that kind of thing interests you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do everything I can to answer any questions. If you have one of these scopes, um, please let me know your opinions. Um, and uh, otherwise, yeah, thank you for watching.